But we do have Lisa Stark on the phone again from Seattle who monitors aviation. Lisa, have you been talking to aviation officials since we have reported this and what's their reaction? Or did they know I in advance? Well, Peter, I don't know if they know it, if they knew in advance, but and I have not had a chance yet to talk to any uh, any members of the industry. But I have talked to some government sources tonight, and what they are telling us is that uh, there were discussions about the incidents between the government and the airlines. Uh, folks are understandably concerned. I don't know if when those discussions took place, they really had the level of detail about these incidents that we have been reporting tonight. But they certainly knew that people had been detained. Uh, both at LaGuardia and JFK Airport. There was concern expressed, also relief to some extent that the system worked, if you will, and that uh, some folks who may be suspicious uh, have been detained. My understanding is there was no discussion about shutting the system down again, that there is this sense that the security measures are in place, that they are good security measures, and that uh, the system will continue to be safe and that they will continue to operate and ramp up in the day ahead. So at this point, I don't believe there are any discussions underway uh, either about shutting down the system, about scaling back the system, or even, I understand now, about imposing additional security measures. Okay, thanks very much, Lisa Stark. And I want to go back to Claire